African to celebrate women in the film industry. The four ladies were given an opportunity to create short stories concentrating on the arts, food and lifestyle. Now these stories will be launched and headed under the hashtag Trace Roots program. The launch is set to take place today with over 30 acts headlining the event. While well, for more on this we chat to the marketing and communication specialist Sibu Sisiwe Nyanda. Very good morning to you. You look stunning and welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Morning. Thank you for having us. Why was it so important? important to, through your platform, give women a voice to tell their stories? Well, I think, um, firstly, as Trace Southern Africa, we acknowledge that as an African people, storytelling is something that's very intrinsic to us. And the best kind of storytellers, I believe, are African women. And so it was very important to us to be able to give that platform to these young women to do what we've done best um, for centuries over. And I think if you look at the kind of content that they've put out, it's really a true, um, it's, it's a reflection of exactly that sentiment. Well, I think uh, African women have so much to say and Absolutely. so many stories to tell and yeah. share with everybody uh, but why the focus specifically on the arts food and lifestyle well I think firstly um, it's important that we as trace focus on what we know best and that is really music art and lifestyle and um, the the three are always interchangeable and so it was important that we allowed women a platform to be able to tell those stories because I think a music video can only tell so much of a story, but if we allow them to tell short documentaries, if we allow them to tell short film stories, that really allows them to be able to showcase the kind of versatility there is to the African narrative. Well, I actually love um, the food, lifestyle yeah. uh, and uh, art part of it because I think uh, it, it takes the focus off some of the negatives that are exactly. you know so um, well spoken of in terms of stories that uh, women have to share um, but what has been the most interesting thing for you in the stories that have come out that these women have shared in terms of food art and lifestyle well I think the most important thing has been that I when a woman tells a story, I think the immediate expectation is that it's going to be soppy and soft and, yes. you know, centered on love, which is beautiful and amazing. But I think it's been really cool to see the kind of grit that's existed in the stories the women have told. They've gone to your Yeovil Rocky Street and they've gone into the streets and really been able to tell some really amazing and hard hitting stories. And we love that they've been able to do that as young women. Well, it's been an exciting competition. Yeah. Uh, and today will be the launch yes. with uh, a, an entire event tied to this launch as yeah. well. Could you tell us who are some of the headlining acts, what will be happening, uh, and what the winner of the competition will be walking away with? Okay, so firstly, the winner of the competition, thanks to the Gauteng Film Commission, we're going to allow the winner to be able to tell a story of her own. So she'll be able to, after being selected, tell a 20-minute story um, with 50,000 rands as her budget. And she's allowed to focus on whatever she feels is of particular importance to her, whether it's heroes in her community or a particular element of our society that we feel people don't focus enough on. So we're really excited to see when we give them free reign to focus on what they love, what they're going to focus on. Um, and in terms of today, Trace Roots, the event is happening at Josieberg Lane in central Joburg. We have over 30 acts. Some of our headliners are Questa and Java. We have Shoma Josie. We have Jay Molly, who I think in the past year has really proven to be a hero of urban culture and popular culture. We have Frank Casino. We have DJ Sandy, so who's known to be a gom connoisseur. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone. And um, the event starts at 2. Doors open at 2. So if you want to come with your family and focus on the food and arts and craft element. There's a beautiful market throughout the day that you can enjoy. If you're here for the party, we carry on till two in the morning. So there really is something for everyone. Okay, well, uh, just before I let you go, yes. in terms of the competition, are there any plans of expanding it to even beyond the borders of, of Africa? And where to from here for yeah. the winner? Can I tell you, when we got the entrance, there were so many women from the rest of the continent. And as you can imagine, we were disappointed because we could only focus on Gauteng. But charity begins at home, so we're happy that we started here. But there certainly are plans to take it across the continent. And I think and Trace as a brand yes. touches you know, the continent Absolutely. from east to west. Absolutely. So it was really exciting to be able to see some of those stories. We couldn't focus on all of them for now, but there certainly are plans to do that. And the winner can expect to see her content 
shared across all our territories. We're available in 21 territories on the continent. And of course, they're the global platforms in London, the UK, and um, in the States. And of course, our headquarters are in France. So they can definitely expect to get that kind of exposure from this. All right. Is there a way that the public can access uh, some of these uh, stories that the women have shared? Yes, absolutely. So if they follow our page on um, Trace Africa um, underscore, it's at Trace Africa underscore, that's for Trace Africa, and it's at Trace underscore enter for Trace Urban, that's on Twitter. On Facebook, our page is called Trace Southern Africa, where they can see all those stories. And on Instagram, Trace Africa is at Trace Africa underscore, and Trace Urban's page is at Trace South Africa. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having us, and I hope we'll see you later. Oh, Questa is my crush at the moment, so I'll be there. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the marketing and communication specialist, Sibusi Senyan sharing more on the Trace Roots Festival, celebrating newest kids on the block who continue to push the envelope and influence pop culture. Well, we take a quick break here in Morning Live. We'll be back with more. Stay with us.